Wow. Hello, Laura. Laura Ohm. Like oh. Ohm. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Officially, Laura Feliciano Cruz. See? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Laura Teresa Feliciano, because, you know, I have to mention my mother's name. She ah, called that, me yes. Laura Teresa because her name is Teresa. Indeed, yes. We have to honor our, our mothers. So yes. thank you, thank you, thank you so much for taking the time to, to you know, to chat, just to have a little chat. Um, so, yeah, Laura Ohm, you are the, the creative genius behind Maranta Power in Puerto Rico, yes. Yes. So, first, first of all, Maranta, what, what's the English translation for that word? Well, is there is no translation in English. It's a plant, a uh -huh. Caribbean plant, like something that will grow in the tropics. And uh -huh. our ancestors, like my grandmother, before my grandmother, they used to say, Oh, mija, go and brush your maranta. Like big hair, crazy hair. Ah. Uh, hair that wasn't, you know, hair that didn't look that it was styled. Yes. So it was uh, seen as a bad, bad type of style or hair. Uh. And, and it's very Puerto Rican. So mm. when I moved back to Puerto Rico after going to beauty school in California, mm. uh, everybody was using their hair straight. And I was already a specialist on curly hair. I was the only one in the island that yeah. was provoking people to embrace their curly hair. So Maranta. I started using the word Maranta as a superpower. Like I said, exactly. ah, don't worry. You have yeah. a beautiful Maranta. Oh, fabulous. It. Yes. So I yes. started using the Maranta, just changing the the significance that the Puerto mm. Ricans used to mm. used to. A have for that word yes make it more positive indeed yes yeah. yes right okay so when 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 did you actually start maranta para what year and i mean and tell me about the genesis of it i mean was it from i mean personal experience you have beautiful curly hair thank you um, yeah you're, you're welcome <laughs> um or was it you know Maybe because you couldn't find the right products, blah, blah, blah. So tell me how, okay. it, how it started and when. But it really started with the with my lifestyle, right? Um, mm -hmm. I'm a, I love nature. Yes. I love to go to the beach. I love sports. So I never had the time to, or the, the you know, the ganas, like <laughs> the will of like blow yeah. drying and spending a lot uh, of time on my hair. Um, I, yeah. So I wanted something practical, something easy uh, yeah. for me. And mm. I really want people, I always wanted my clients to feel beautiful mm. the way they are. I love yeah. changes. Like if you want to uh, dye your hair blue or you want to blow dry your hair or you want to do right. any kind of style, I will support you. But... Mm. I always wanted my clients to feel beautiful on their skin and with their natural hair. Of course. And yeah. it started that way. It started, Maranta Power started first as a movement of empowering. A movement, like yes. I started, I started uh, telling all my, even the young girls that oh, I don't want my hair curly. I want my hair straight like my prima, mm. like my, you know, my, my neighbor, my friend at school. Yes. And it started like, you know, embracing, asking people to embrace themselves as mm. their yes. natural way, loving themselves as their natural way. So when I was doing hair, I always had the problem of not having healthy products like clean or natural okay. products for yes. the curly hair community. Yes. So yes. many years ago, maybe like 20 years ago, I said, well, one day I'm going to have my own line because... I'm selling these products. They are not the best for mm. for the for for curls. A natural curl. So, yeah. Yeah. So I started developing uh, Maranta Power, like working with the idea, maybe like 20 years ago. But then five years ago, I was able to launch the first product mm. that it was a uh, primer leave-in that everybody could use. Um. And 
you know, coming from a very humble family and not having a lot of money to do all my make all my dreams come true, <laughs> I had to I had to start with at least one product. Yes. So I started with a product that everybody could use. People mm. with wavy, curly, even straight hair or yeah. afro. So that's how I started five years ago. It was a necessity. It was a need that my community yes. had. Right. And, and nobody in Puerto Rico was doing something like we wanted to do. So mm. we took the challenge and we developed Maranta Power. Nice. So so you've been doing hair way before that then? Yes, I've been doing hair for 26 years. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it, and five years ago, that's when it hit you like, listen, we need something for us. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's it's not a for me that I went to beauty school and yeah. I am a I study theater in college. So yeah. I was not I'm I'm a businesswoman because <laughs> I like to do things and I oh, like to to you know make everything yeah. that I that I want to do, I want to make it come through. So mm -hmm. I didn't really know how to start. Uh -huh. So I was, you know, learning and looking what other brands that started very small were doing I... to see if I could learn something from them. Mm -hmm. And a lot of like uh, family owned uh, brands, they always started with one product. Like mm -hmm. people started small. So I yes. said, maybe one day when I start my product line, when I develop my product line, I'm going to start that way because it sounds like something that I could do. Yes. So that's why yes. it took me so long because I needed to, you know, <laughs> first yes. learn a little bit and do it of right. Of course. Uh, absolutely. Yes. So, I mean, now that you're on this journey, I mean, how hard... Or how easy is it to convince, I mean, women to, to, well, to accept their natural, naturally curly hair, their natural beauty. I mean, because we're all surrounded by, you know, these European standards of beauty. And and you, you start to measure yourself against mm -hmm. that, right? Because mm -hmm. that's all you see. How easy has it been or hard has it been for you to, to kind of push you know, what should be natural for all of us. Really. Yeah, it was very hard at the beginning. Uh, mm -hmm. I live in Puerto Rico, so, yes. you know, I, I can say 90% of the population have some kind of curls. Of course. Um, and we see a lot of people that have two, three, four types of waves and curls in mm. one head. So <laughs> it's very challenging, you know, sometimes yeah. to manage when you yeah. have a very uh, different combination of curls on your head. But yeah. at the beginning, it was very hard because it was 21 years ago. But mm. slowly, I show my clients that mm. you can have both styles. Yes. You want to have the European style, you can have it. Mm. But you have to love and be able to, to, to manage and and take care of your curly hair too so yes. now there's more like uh there, there's more acceptance and it's mm. very interesting that some a lot of uh, parents yes. still blow dry their hair straight and use relaxant and all that but they want their kids to have their hair natural and to love ah. them the way they are so yes. that is sometimes even harder because the example exactly. in exactly. the house mm. is to blow dry and straighten your hair. And you're exactly. telling me that I mm. should embrace my curls, you know, love my curls. So yes. now I think it's a little bit easier because we have the tools mm. to teach our clients. Maybe wow. young young girls, they're like, I oh, know, I don't like the volume. I want it a little bit, you know, yes. like, yeah, I want it curly, but down. I don't want my yes. hands going all the way up. So we have the tools to uh, teach them how yes. to style their hair so they get to learn mm. and do it at home by themselves. Yes. So I think it's it's even even guys like now with all the urbano, mm. like the ur urbano oh. reggaeton, all these guys, singers using their curly hair. 
they are uh, provoking the younger generation of boys to just let their hair natural and yes. even teaching their parents because you know mm. the very conservative at least in the the latino community Indeed. you know you have to have your hair short you know yes. and, and put gel <laughs> so it doesn't move um but at least i see in puerto rico parents are more open to um. let their kids explore the mm. possibility of having their hair natural and it's very impressive the amount of guys you know teenagers yes. that they come they know what they want they know how to style their mm. hair and they learn maybe a little bit more from us on how, what products to use to make okay. them look the way they want but it, it's been a hard job for me I'm telling it's you it's been a journey it's been a journey it's been a journey yeah and, I love it. I love it. I just want people to love themselves the way they were born Indeed. and 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 be happy. Yes, yes. I mean, the thing is a, a lot of all of well, a lot of black women yes have gone through, you know, it, even I, you mm -hmm. know, going through the, straightening the hair when I did have hair, straightening uh -huh. the hair with um lye-based yes. products. And I remember getting burns oh, on yes. the scalp. And people still go through this. Oh, and yes. I'm wondering, I mean, why? But the thing is, well, you, you, your products now, because you're able to, what you're telling people to do is, yes, you can have it both ways. So what, what are the kinds of ingredients that you would use to, if you wanted to sort of relax it, but in a natural way, rather than using these chemicals that, basically harm you. Yeah, it's very important uh, to try to use as clean as possible uh, yeah. products, like no silicones. Um, if you're gonna use silicone, all your ingredients have to be water soluble. Nothing mm -hmm. that will stay mm -hmm. on your hair uh, okay. yeah. when you yeah. rinse your hair. Because usually people uh, with Afro, they don't shampoo their hair as often because they need yes. the natural a sieve of the of the natural oils to go yeah. through the shaft so the yes. hair gets you know hydrated and in be mm. better conditions so it's yeah. very important to have soluble uh, water soluble ingredients on the mm. products that you use and of course Marantra Power is that way it's designed yeah. that way and that's something that makes us uh, very special is that I I have all type of curls on my chair and I was doing things for my people, like uh, people with with all type of curls. So I knew that my clients don't wash their hair as often as sometimes I would like to. Uh, <laughs> so I will have to do products that will take care of that hair of that, in, yeah. you know, between shampoos. Yeah. So for people that have Afro and want to have a heavier, you know, heavier look, so it's not yeah. so... So maybe people call it poofy, but I like it. Big. Poofy, yeah. Well, it's that's like a, a poofy and big. That's the term, um, yeah. Yeah, it's important to use products, ingredients that are more, they are heavier, like shea butter. Yeah. Um, yes. That it's amazing for mm -hmm. for hydration mm -hmm. and to rebuild that, cut that uh, cuticle of the shaft. Yes. Um, and then the styling, it's all about styling. It's yeah. all about products and the combination with the styling. You won't mm -hmm. have straight hair, but if you combine the perfect product for you, like mm -hmm. we designed one that it's called Mega Curly Cream, that yes. we designed that for type four uh, curls, that it's our, all the types of Afro. And yes. I cannot use that because it will make my hair too heavy. Right. But it will be Different perfect type. for somebody that type have a uh, type four Actually, and yeah. If you do finger coils, that is like taking little pieces of uh, like bunch of hairs mm. and curl it with your finger, it will be curly and yes. heavy. Uh. So, and instead of using a diffuser to get volume, then you will use maybe a letter air dry or a dryer, mm. like a dryer that like it's like a, like a, yeah, it's like a hat. Yeah, not that traditional heat. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. And then you let it dry. 
So mm. it's a combination of good products, good ingredients, clean, clean products, and mm. the styling. Right. And we do have a lot of a lot of um, uh, videos to okay. teach people how Eat. to style their hair, mm. because you know a lot of people think it's easier to to do a chemical relaxer and a blow dry, and maybe it is, maybe. You know, mm. I, I, I would like to talk about the truth, Bella. <laughs> Sometimes it's easier, but it's not the best. Ah, uh, that's the secret. It may be easier, it's, but not necessarily better. The best, and not, not necessarily better. You cannot use your hair curly when you do a relaxer, chemical mm. relaxer, and you are hurting very bad your scalp and your hair. Yeah, I have. I had a client. Mm -hmm. She was like seventy-two years old when she first came to me to cut all her damaged hair from a relaxer. Mm -hmm. And the first time she saw herself with an afro, a tiny, tiny afro, uh, she yeah. cried like uh, you know, like 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 half an hour. But after that, she recognized herself after seventy mm -hmm. years of relaxer. Because she was relaxing her hair since five years old. Yes. That for me, that it's like, it's bad. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's so damaging and it's so painful. Absolutely. Yes. But now she loves me and she loves. Yes. She her has seen her natural. Yeah, she's, yeah, she loves her natural beauty. So, you know what? You, I mean, besides sounding like a scientist, because you have to put all these things together, you are. A, like a natural beauty advocate you're an advocate right is is that how, how you consider yourself I mean I would yes. that's what that's the title I would give you yeah yes it's yeah. just that in my heart I I really want people to feel to feel beautiful the way they mm. are born it's just yes. it's, it's, it's a blessing yeah. to be alive and to have hair it doesn't matter what yes. kind of hair you know it's, yes. It's, yes. you were blessed with hair with mm. health with a natural beauty the mix yes. of of your of your ancestors you know yes. you are perfect the way you are you can mm. change I, i'm you know i'm not against change i know people will mm. like like changes it's okay mm. Like sometimes I feel like cutting my hair off. I'll do yes. it. I like have me, hair. I them. Yes. yes. I had hair blue, purple. You know, <laughs> I change all the time. But I never stop loving my natural way, my mm. natural beauty. And yes. sometimes I see my clients with this beautiful, big Maranta. And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> why do I have so? <laughs> so little yeah. but you know this is what i have and i will make make the best I need to work with it yes it, you know so where where do you source source your ingredients i mean you use things like shea butter and all these natural yeah. oils and that kind of thing are they not uh locally sourced or do you have to go outside no we have to we have to go outside and get a lot of shea um, butter is mostly come from Africa. You know, there's yes, some places really, in yes. the world that yes. the, mm. the, even the argan oil from Marruecos, you know, the, there's from all over. We, what we did that it was very, very important mm. for us was looking for a company. They had the values and yeah. the quality of ingredients that we needed for our brand. Mm. Like we wanted a company that knew exactly where the products came from. Yes. Like fair trade and, you know, okay. as, as clean as possible. Mm. Um, and that took us a while. That's why, that's one of the reasons why it took us so long to, yes. to develop Maranta Power. Because we wanted to be sure that we can trust the company that was gonna put all my ideas in a bottle, of course. And it was gonna it was gonna be responsible with the planet and with the people that work the these ingredients. Absolutely, and very 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 key. Um, so I was looking at your website, looking at all the products. Uh, what is your most what's the most popular product right now? What is your biggest biggest seller? Well, 
at the beginning, uh, the, we, we didn't have the, the full line that we have now, the six products. Mm. That we, I said the full line because with that, you can do everything. But uh, we, yeah. for sure, we'll grow a little bit more. Um, it was the curl enhancing cream because it's okay. everybody yeah. can use the curl enhancing cream. Mm. With, it depends yeah. on your type of curls. It's the amount of product that you will use. Yes. Something that is very important, and I like to say everywhere I go, is that I made this for my customers. And I'm not about, about money. I am all about purpose. Mm. So I made a very concentrated formula in yes. a big bottle. Because uh, I was tired of leaving my clients saying, I, Laura, I spent this amount of product of, of money on this product and it lasts me two times, two years. <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay whenever, whenever I do something, I'm going to do it big and concentrated. Yes. So the Curly Enhancing Cream, it's been the best seller for a very long time. So, but now we have competition in that, uh, in that scale because... Uh, we develop a hair mask that mm. it does mm, many things. If you don't leave it longer than five minutes, it will be a conditioner because yeah. you're not letting the ingredients to to go deeper on the on the shaft. Um, if you leave, leave it longer, or even if you go out of the shower and put a mm -hmm. like a plastic bag or something to create heat, you make it a mask. Ah, and okay you don't have to rinse it. It is a mm. leave-in conditioner too. Okay. So the mask, it was based on this, of these of my clients too, because they were yeah. leaving their conditioner on their hair. And the conditioners are made to rinse out. To rinse out, that's right, that's right. <laughs> and I, I was like, no, 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 no. You cannot do that. You have to rinse your hair. No, but my hair tangles. I was like, no, no, I'm gonna do something very special for you. Mm. So now, uh, people that have a uh, very curly hair that tangles a lot, mm -hmm. they use the mask, they leave it on, they ring, they oh, uh, detangle okay. in the shower, and they go out of the shower with the mask on that they don't have to rinse. Mm. So that's been a hit because even yeah. mothers with young girls that don't like to brush their hair, that it's yes. you know always a hassle to to work with their curls they do that in the shower and it's amazing the difference Excellent. that you see on the hair yeah. yeah when they use the product over and over oh okay excellent yeah. so well, definitely multi-purpose multi-purpose yes you've been the recipient of um you know the the rising entrepreneur program how has that helped you i mean have oh my god i'm like <laughs> I'm, I'm like so we love like i guess i guess like <laughs> <laughs> it's been the best yes uh, and and you know how how it helped me um I know I have a good product and mm. I'm ready to scale yes um, I needed the education that the program provides mm. to scale in the right way uh. to scale with with a purpose too, not like crazy, not okay. only because the money, it's be, mm -hmm. because the impact that I'm gonna, I'm gonna do around the world, wherever I put my product. So mm -hmm. I learned, like I'm, I'm, I've been doing business, I have my hair salon for 21 years. So I've been learning a lot on my path as an entrepreneur, but the, the amount of import information that mm. the program has, it's so, so, so needed okay. for scaling. Mm. Then mm. for me, it's it's priceless. It's like, it, for me, have changed my, even my mentality. Um, okay. I, you know, I'm from Puerto Rico and mm. we tend to think in a small <laughs> island of three million something people. Of course. And, it, it's so much what you can do here. Mm. And I recognize that my product, Maranta Power, it's a blessing for, uh, for cur the curly community. Yes. But I didn't know exactly how to do it the right way to uh, scale okay. and take my product to other countries or to the mm. United States or wherever I want to take it. So 
it's been mentoring. Mm. Uh, I, we make, we make, um, I am like very casual on my way of, of explaining things. But I'll, I'm going to tell <laughs> you a good. little story. They provide us P&Ls, right? Uh, profit and loss uh, yes. spreadsheets. And I had my P&L and I was so proud of my P&L. <laughs> And then when they provided the PNL, my PNL was missing like a, like a, you know like ten a little uh, segments that I should be measuring. Yeah. So now I know that I'm ready to scale mm. and to do things right because yes. I was thinking, oh maybe I sell two millions, mm. maybe. But then when you learn about uh, market sizing. And you understand there's so many people, 78% of the population of the world have curly hair. Yes. Why are you going to stay thinking about, you know, the small, this beautiful, little... amazing yes. island that yes. I live on? Yes, yes, yes. So it's been, you know, the mentors, the the playbook that they give you to, to, to learn. Yes. And all the feedback that you get from the team that they work mm. in Puerto Rico. And even the time that you get to spend with Orlando Bravo. Yes. Know, uh, yes. Telling, you know, just being so kind with his time and his effort. Oh, and he's trying to help our island that he needs the help. I wish mm. there were more people like him. Doing... Yes. 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 It's like it's 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 very very important for Puerto Rico. There's a yes. lot of talent mm. and not enough resources. Yes. So yes. what uh, Bravo Family Foundation and and Rising Entrepreneur are doing, it's a blessing from the skies. It's like mm -hmm. the best yes. thing that have happened to me in my whole career. Indeed. I don't want it to end. <laughs> I'm like, well, can I start all over again? Yeah. <laughs> well, obviously what they're doing is, is pointing you in the right direction. Yes, you've got an overall picture, but they're, you know, just telling you, giving you this very specific tools. And yes, you have taken it on board. So congratulations. Yes. yes. Huh? And I want to add something more on that. It's that um, um, my, my friends are mostly uh, artists. Right? Yes, and and artists usually don't like like me. Like I'm an artist too. We usually we don't know a lot about numbers mm. and things. And it's been so powerful that I've been learning uh, from Bravo Rising Entrepreneur, yes. and I've been able to share my knowledge, what mm. I have learned with yes. them. Okay. So it doesn't stay, at least for me, in the small group of 30 something yeah. people that are able to enter the program. It just spreads in uh, our community. Yes. And maybe by little, little by little, what Bravo Family Foundation is doing, it's going to impact the whole island. I'm pretty sure about that. Indeed, indeed. So you are spreading the knowledge, spreading mm -hmm. the knowledge. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you so much. That's, that's a perfect note to end on, actually. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. It's been a real pleasure. And listen, uh, you know, I I am, you know, I'm in your corner. I'm looking at your website. I'll keep checking, checking on you, you know, looking at the website and see how you're growing. Yeah. Yes, because... we're, we're working very hard for that. So, in, yes. and, and just one more thing is that I'm focusing now on Maranta Power mm -hmm. and I'm focusing on teaching other hairdressers on how to work okay. and, and style the curly yeah. hair because right. it's part of the problem. In um, beauty yes. school, they don't teach how to. No, this care. is what we need. This is what we need. So yeah, thank you so much for all thank of that. You.